Alright, so now may the God of expectation be filling you with all joy and peace in believing. For you to be super abounding in expectation in the power of Holy Spirit. So, that's really cool. It's the first time I've really encountered this message. But, um, I think it's really cool about, um, God of expectation, right? So, the God of expectation filling you with all joy and peace in believing. So, it's not of the God of wrath be tormenting you with all strain and, uh, and human works in, uh, in working, or in creating your own uh, reality or some crap like that. No, it's now made the God of expectation. So, the God of expectation, right, be filling you with all joy and peace in believing, in believing. So, how do you, how do you get more joy and peace in believing and in all with so here's the thing i have a playlist called n 2.5 and it has proof of the dinosaurs being here on the 6000 year plan and um i got proof such as in utah you can find uh dinosaur footprints that no way can they can they last for millions of years a couple thousand years for sure, especially in a desert condition. But um, we got in Asia, there are three or three or four thousand year old rock paintings and all over the world, different cave paintings, stuff like that, of dinosaurs. We got in the scriptures, we got, um, I think it was the Leviathan is described as having a tail of the size of a cypress tree. Um, so... <laughs> And obviously they had the reference of a cypress tree back then too. So anyways, um, in, in the, that one of the videos, it's just a quarry hunting video from 2012 in Utah. And the guy is just casually explaining how all the dinosaurs were wiped out by a flood. And that um, it's just obvious proof because of all the millions of dinosaurs that collected in certain places in certain areas because they were all carried by flood and the, how pressurized the um and there's like fragments you always be finding fragments of their bones everywhere as well as how pressed down they were from a flood which is basically the the firmament breaking and uh, all of the civilizations um, i have a couple very interesting two they were just made last year, and they are three-hour-long documentaries on different civilizations, um, the different civilizations. The Assyrians and the Sumerians are the ones that I've watched and have on the playlist. But, um, you'll have, you'll see all these crazy stuff. You'll even get scripture references, which are actually used as historical records, and, uh, but there's just so much, it's way more than you'd ever imagine i'd say you know i just found this all out like two weeks ago or even the dinosaur stuff and um way more than i could have ever imagined it's just like gaps that were filled the gaps that were in my memory are just filled in with actual facts now anyways there's other stuff such as there's an interview with the guy who for like 30 years was on different drugs such as ketamine um and lsd um to communicate with different whales and stuff and um, it turns out that whales actually, when your body, bodies, how the design is, is that as your body grows, your brain grows proportionally with it. And with that growth in brain is growth in brain power. And uh, so whales are actually the most intelligent we could ever, we can't imagine. Basically, it's the equivalent of like our, our capabilities as a human in uh intellectual whatever is like if you cut a slice of a carrot and which ironically a carrot is an eye and it's great for your eyes um there's other stuff like that with different foods walnuts are shaped like a brain uh, anyways and um but uh a whale's brain the amount of capability that it has at any time is uh like the entire carrot in comparison maybe even more who knows 
But um, so the God of the will is the God of the person, is the God of everything. Uh, Lucy, we got some awesome things to expect.